in the spring 2010, I had lost everything. My house, my cars, my kids were staying with their aunt. I was no longer employable. I didn't show up to family functions. I was a ghost, no friends. Really lost everything. And I slept outside of this church. There used to be bushes around it after I walked for four hours to get to the spot where I caught my dope. And after I got to the spot, I stayed in the city and played my guitar and flew my little sign and made enough money to get an ID and a birth certificate so I could go to detox. And my sister, bless her heart, came and found me on the west side, picked me up, took me to get my documents, and then the next day I went to detox. April 9th, 2010, last time that I, that I shot up, that I used hard drugs. Now, as the universe would have it, I live in a wonderful neighborhood. If you look at it just right, it's really quaint, like a Norman Rockwell painting. And it just so happens to be a two and a half minute walk from that church that I slept outside of. So I don't have to look very far to see how far I've came. I mean, 14 years sounds like a long time, but it really has gone by fast. One day at a time can lead you to a place in recovery where even in chaos and sadness and madness and messiness and disorder, even at, you know, the most testing times in sobriety, in sobriety, it's perfect. It can all be perfect because you have gratitude now. You realize now that things, maybe they're disorderly or in need of repair, but here I am. I woke up here again today, you know, with another chance to do the next right thing. And if you just listen to what they're saying in those rooms, follow the advice of people that have achieved some measure of success because what one man can do, another man can do. And not everything's going to work for you. You got to weed out the bullshit and find out what is going to be able to be applied to your life, to your circumstances and use that. Okay. When they say go to 90 meetings in 90 days, try for that. If you can pull that off, then you're going to see why it, it, it's, it's a mantra, why it's something that's always said one day at a time. These things are said because these things work. They're proven. It's possible. And if it's possible for a guy like me, because let me tell you, I've got stories that I could tell about how far my addiction took me. And I'm totally okay with being open and honest about that now because, you know, of where I'm at now. I can accept it. I can own it. I can own those behaviors as behaviors that I portrayed, not as a true reflection of myself. I control my self-talk now on good days. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For the most part, you know, I understand that that is a critical, fundamental part of recovery is self-talk one day at a time and it works.